BBC was wrong in that documentary. There are no great hornbills in Sarawak. There are no great hornbills in Borneo. I am not trying to defame BBC. BBC Earth is actually one of my favourite channels. However, my friends are starting to cite one of BBC's documentary, which has some inaccuracies. And this video tries to address that inaccuracy. We cool? So around 2 months ago, I made a video on how to differentiate between the Great Hornbill and the Rhinosaurus Hornbill. A few people said that I was wrong and used BBC's documentary as reference. The environment is a creation that is given to us. We are just the custodian of this thing. If we just destroy it today, and the whole thing, all the beauty, all the things that we have now, that is the end of it. I want to start off by saying I am so proud of you all. This is how we should discuss things. Don't just say that I am wrong, but refer to a reliable source. And for this case, you all use BBC, which is a reliable source. However, BBC was wrong in that documentary. There are no great hornbills in Sarawak. There are no great hornbills in Borneo. So some of you might be asking, Jason, who are you referring to then? I am actually referring to Phillips and Phillips, Myers, Smithies, BirdLife International, and eBirds. All of these bird specialists agreed that there are no great hornbills in Borneo. According to BirdLife International, you can find the great hornbills in these areas. So, how did BBC get that shot of the Great Hornbill? My guessing that shot was taken somewhere else, but I am quite confident it was not taken in Borneo. And that's it for this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos on nature. And of course, don't forget to vote whether you want me to talk about helmeted hornbills or giant pandas. And I will see you all in the next video.